how it goes, all right. Hi guys, Matt here. Welcome to 2014. Um, and I'm going to do something I haven't done in a very long time. I'm going to present some pony merchandise. Um, why haven't I done this for a while? Simply because I didn't buy any pony merchandise. But uh, before Christmas and uh, around the New Year's, I started to, you know, run away to upgrade some things in my room and so on. And I stumbled upon something from the German uh, warehouse sender Otto, um, which was My Little Pony related. And so I said, hey, why not? And um, as you can see, also a new setting, new calendar, here's a new screen. Well, this is the old screen. This is the new screen, but this is the old screen, but it's now um, an extra screen for editing and stuff. And um, <coughs> here we go. We have new pony merchandise. So I'm going to present it from you, for you, um, so you can see if that is something you would like to buy, and so you can, you know, get a uh, an impression about what is going on here. So. First thing first, we have a cushion. Cushions, yeah, here we go. Um, this is a My Little Pony cushion. And um, this uh, cushion is uh, from uh, Herding, when I'm not completely mistaken, let's see. Um, which is very ironic, it's called Herding. <laughs> but it's it's Herding, here we go, so you can see on the other side. Um, it's got uh, Fluttershy and Pinkie Pie. Why did I opt for the Fluttershy and Pinkie Pie one? Simply because uh, Andrea Lipman is awesome. Awesome sauce, awesome sauce woman here. Uh, follow her on Twitter, follow her on Facebook, uh, support her, admire her. Um, she is absolutely awesome. And she speaks both of these characters, and that's why I got this. So, um, please remove this packaging before selling this. Yeah. Why didn't they do that? <laughs> it says right here. Here, please, 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 uh, here, please remove um, the packaging of this cushion before selling it. Um, that's because it's a flat, you see? That's, that's why it's a flat. So, let's open this. Um, I will do it in the harsh way. Here we go. Harsh winny way. I'm just gonna rip it open. Here we go. So, here we go. Ta-da! It has been removed. Yes, here it is. My little pony cushion. So, um, material is typical uh, couch cushion material. It's it's very thin. It's it's really thin. If you can see that, see that. It's it's really thin material. Um, but this is obviously not very natural. Let's see. One hundred percent polyester. Yeah, it is completely unnatural. So this is a one hundred percent polyester cushion. And cushion. Um, it seems to be. It's both in the inside and the outside, huh? So, um, polyester cushion. Uh, this has some advantages and some disadvantages. The advantages, uh, polyester is an artificial material. Artificial materials, this thing will not rot. This will uh, stay here in 10,000 years. Uh, also, if it gets spoiled or anything, you can... Uh, yeah, mostly just rub it off because it's polyester, but if I'm not completely mistaken, you can even wash it. Yes, you can wash it, according to this, at 40 degrees Celsius. So a normal standard washing, um, which I will do um, after I've recorded this. I will wash it and then I will present it to you once it's dry again, so you can have a complete uh, impression. Yes, I was right. It's from the Klaus Herding GmbH in Bochort. Um, Klaus Herding, so it's herding, if you would uh, say it in English, which is perfect because it's ponies. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's officially licensed by Hasbro, and uh, yeah, it's about 40 to 40 centimeters, yes, if I'm playing a little bit with it, yes, here we go, um, 40 by 40 centimeters. Uh, it's a typical couch cushion, it's very nice. Uh, the print is nice, the... Uh, Ponies are presented quite well. There's this Fletcher looks a little bit awkward if you can see this. You see it should, her, her look is not as perfect. You can't go wrong with Pinkie Pie in any way. So um it's it's okay, it's an okay design. Um 
yeah it looks to be nice yeah we're gonna see I'm gonna wait and see I'm gonna wash it um, and then we're gonna see how it behaves afterwards so second thing I wanted to present is uh, this this is a towel this is a bathing towel or shower towel and it has according to this Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, and Princess Twilight Sparkle. Not Twilight Sparkle, Princess Twilight Sparkle, as you can see here. So, is this also... No, it's a Velour Tuch. Velour Tuch, okay, uh, well... It's a bathing... It's a bathing, bathing towel. So, let's remove the packaging. Shoop! Removed. And here we go. Um, bathing towel. This is... This feels alright. It's not overly soft. It's alright. Um, smells a little bit awkward. It's also not very thick, you know. It's it's really it's really thin material. It's not. I've had st and have sturdier uh, towels, you know. Um, it's 100% cotton. So this is a cotton towel, and we're gonna see. Here we go. Rainbow dash. Here we go, and here we have. My personal favorite, as always, pink, um, right? And in the bottom we have Princess Twilight Sparkle. Here we go. Yes. And the logo on the bottom, of course. So, uh, yeah, this uh, should also... This is a towel. It has to be washable. Let's see. Um, here is the sticker. It's washable at 60 degrees. 60 degrees Celsius. So um, keep away from fire. Do not burn pony stuff. It will burn. Do not burn pony stuff. Um, 60 degrees Celsius. You can even iron it at uh, lowest setting of the ironing, uh, and you can actually dry it. And you should uh, wash it before using it, which I will also do. So I'm going to wash it, and you're going to see um, if the colors stay clear. Um, um, uh, I can already see here, you know, these stars by Twilight, you know, a lot of, a lot of stars around Twilight. Now, actually, stars in the fabric, so it's, it's, uh, white points around here. This will be interesting how fast that will fade. I'm really curious because the rest is just print colored, as it seems. We're gonna see, gonna wait and see here. Yeah, so that is the bathing towel. Um, also washable, this is very important, of course, for a bathing towel. And then I have this. This. This is uh, a blanket. A fleece blanket. Well, fleece means all kinds of things. In this case, it is 100% polyester, again. So this is um, artificial material. It will burn like hell. So do not burn this stuff, and it's fleece. Um, this could be dangerous for children. All the packaging is dangerous for children. Remove packaging before giving to children. Very easy rule. Um, let's open it up. This is um, has been tested, ecologically tested, that it has no, um, you know, artificial. Uh, ingredients that are dangerous. It's also from herding. The other thing is also from herding. I forgot to mention that. It's all herding um, produced. And this is also um, Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash, and Princess Violet Sparkle. Let's see. Um, packaging removed. Then it is in this. You can see here um, the ponies that are up there. And you can see a Pinkie Pie just around the logo. Very nice. Um, yeah, this is just stickered. You know, this is uh, sticking tape here, but it's... Oh, it's sticking a little bit on the cloth that is not perfectly sealed. It has... some of the glue has come on the cloth here. Okay, so this is removed now. Okay, and here we go. My Little Pony. Here we go. Yes. So again, we have here we have 
Rainbow Dash, very starry, very sparkly. We have Pinkie Pie, sorry, here, Pinkie Pie, here, and Princess Twilight Sparkle, here. Yes. This is very, this, you, you can feel it, this is very soft. This is really, really soft. Um, and of, it's a little bit stretchable, and it, from, from all the fabric, it's actually the thickest fabric of them all here, this uh, blanket. Um, let's see here, Pony has a Hasbro, keep away from fire, always keep blankets away from fire. It is machine washable, 40 degrees, and it, you can even iron it on the lowest setting. I wouldn't recommend ironing uh, this, anything out of polyester you should, if possible, never iron. Um, because, you know, it's so easy that the setting is done, and then you have, you, it, it immediately melts, it burns. Happened to me with a rather expensive uh, jersey once. Um, never do that. So you can dry it, I wouldn't do that either. Uh, put it on a uh, clothing, clothesline and then uh, let it dry like that. But you can wash it. This is very important, not only, you know, this could be, you know, a blanket you, you wrap yourself in for sleeping on the couch or something like that. And uh, if you do, this will get dirty from sweat, from uh, stuff you eat, residue on the couch, whatever, dust. My, uh, I myself, for example, I'm allergic against dust mites, so um, this could, uh, you, you could get an allergic reaction that you should wash it. And um, this is very important that you can wash it, especially around children. Children get everything dirty. You, know, you should wash it, the stuff of children a lot. So, um, as you can see, the coloring here is a little bit less than on the, if you can uh, relate it to the, um, um, to the towel. Let's see, the towel has, sorry, the, um, microphone. <laughs> so yes, as you can see, the towel has a stronger coloring than this one. This one is way um, way more soft coloring. Well, it befits the softness of the blanket. So I'm going to wash these as well, and we're going to see how this turns out. Um, and uh, I'm going to uh, continue the video after it's washed and dried, so it's like tomorrow, maybe later, and uh, then we're going to see how this turns out. So, cut in now. And we are back a uh, bug load later than I actually planned or expected um, with the f finalizing of my review of uh, the three model pony accessories I bought. Um, they are washed, they are dry. They've been laying around for uh, a lot of time. And uh, as you can see, for example, the cushion which I washed, you can see it is now rather fluffy. In comparison, I have one unwashed still, and that's how it is when it comes from the packaging, as I showed, and this is what it turns into. So, gaining in volume, um, it is uh, not unstable, but, uh, well, if you lie on it for a while, this will get flat. It will come back up, but uh, it's not something you can like be smothered in or something like that. Um, the towel here kept its colors. Uh, the backside seems a little bit pinker than before, but uh, as we all know, pink being a very manly color yet again, this is all well. This is okay. Um, the front side has not lost any of its colors so far, so the white points are still white and everything else is still in that color. And um, the uh, fleece blanket here, here we go. Um, the best one of them all, again. So um, this is this has become even softer. This is uh, <laughs> this is uh, comfortable, smells nice if you use a conditioner or something like that, you know, making it softer, a softener, fabric softener. Um, this is good. Uh, in all three cases, I would, um, I would uh, say do not use too much um, of a smelling uh, 
or star, uh, strongly scented um, uh, w washing uh, powder or washing lotion. Don't use powder at all, would be my suggestion. Just liquid, uh, liquid washing agent and liquid conditioner would be the um, best choice for me, um, which is rather easy because uh, aside from uh, model pony uh, stuff, I wear almost uh, exclusively black and uh, washing powder leaves uh, traces on black. So I only use uh, liquid uh, washing agents. So um, now to uh, come for the to come to the actually important part, how much does this stuff cost? Um, this uh, one, uh, the the herding uh, the herding uh, cushion, is uh, seven ninety five where I bought it in euro seven ninety five a dollar price uh, at the time of uh, editing this video is below that one. Um, so, and this does not include shipping. <laughs> Flattish and piggy pie. This does not include shipping. Um, this uh, is something for fans. I have to admit it, this is something for fans. This is uh, for a couch cushion out of polyester, um, which, um, as I have to add, one of the five cushions I bought had very interesting black stains, spots, that were not washable. They, it didn't wash out. I had to send it back. The, it it was that's a that's a quarter of twenty percent you know, twenty percent of the fabric that I got was uh, dirty stained, so that that risk comes on top. Um, if I look at this closely, I can see some small spots here too. It's it's not irritating, but it's there. Um, so it seems to be that there's a risk of that with these. I see it here too. So, and this is only for fans. Only for fans. This is worth the eight bucks it costs. If you are not a diehard fan, which basically wants these cushions going along with fleece blanket or something like that, you will not need this. And uh, I would recommend not buying it online. So uh, you can go into the shop, check out if it has stains. If it has stains, send. Do not buy this. Point them out, make them replace it. Do not buy it. Yeah, that's that's basically it. So it's a maybe. This is a maybe. If you want it, it's okay. If you get lucky, you get a clean one. That's okay too. Um, I would. Um, uh, for example, if you if you look at this one, the ones I the one I haven't washed, I do not see any stains here. So um, if you take this one, uh, the one fresh out of the packaging, um, there is uh, nothing, no stains on these one, uh, on this one. So um, you can get lucky, but I would recommend, especially so you can point it out to the uh, seller and he can immediately turn it in, um, get it in a store if possible. Also, if we look at the seams here, this is not very strongly seamed. So um, this is most likely to rip sooner or later and uh, I would tend on the sooner one. So for eight bucks, you can make the choice for a fan if you see it somewhere. For a sales price, you can uh, take it especially, but um, um, this is a maybe, as I said. So, let's go for the uh, bath towel. Bath towel. So, um, the biggest issue I have with the bath towel is not only is it seen badly, as you can see here, and uh, prone to rip along the sides, it is only printed on one side. One side is white. This I see as a big disadvantage. Uh, the loss of color will be faster. Um, the uh, bottom side will discolor sooner or later, and um, it's it's not very thick. You can basically nearly watch through it, especially when you stretch it. Um, 
and uh, when you stretch it a little bit you can see it's it's turning mostly white mostly broken um, so the thing is I cannot recommend this because it is the most expensive of all the items with a 1995 so 20 bucks for this is overpriced definitely overpriced this is cotton it's not fair trade cotton you can nearly not get fair trade cotton merchandise that is a big problem but it is a fact so this is actually a fact um, yeah but for the way it's made here another one um, for the way it's made the fact that it's only printed on one side the fact that it's so very thin comparatively it's not worth it personally I can say this is not worth the price I will keep it because I bought it and I washed it and I'm gonna use it but I have not high hope for this holding on for very long and um, yeah I would say skip this one hope for a better towel in the future and uh, finally my uh, favorite the fleece blanket is a buy recommendation um, it's at 17.95 so 18 bucks it's two bucks cheaper than the towel you can see very well that it's printed on both sides the seams are a little bit more stable more double stitched a little bit at least um, you can see that it is you know uh, it's 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 okay it's just okay you know this is this is polyester yeah so this is this is not ideal but not by far as I would recommend <laughs> basically I would re recommend fair trade wool because it's also you can also make fleece out of it it keeps insanely warm and uh, it cannot burn so of course that would be better but you won't get that for 18 bucks and uh, yeah I can just personally say this is going to be in use uh, with me for hopefully as long as this one holds I don't know how long this will hold um, but this is a buy recommendation from my side I like it so this one yes yes it is worth the money so that's quite an average count you know one maybe one no and one yes for me so yeah you can uh, decide for yourself of course uh, when you see that in some kind of a shop and uh, maybe yeah, the problem is if a shop always is it he uh, it's it's paid by the shop they need to sell it or send it back and they hopefully have a send it back option so it's it's always a risky thing so I can only say you should uh, test it, you should try it out, um, especially in online shops, especially in big shops which will not lose much, you know, something like, uh, for example, Amazon who is the biggest player right now, if you're going to get it there over Amazon directly, not some trader over Amazon because they are responsible for their own stuff, but over Amazon directly you have a shitload of money in the back of that uh, company and uh, it just makes sure that you're not um, putting anyone into a uh, financial hole too much if you order that stuff online. I'm not talking about one person, but if there's many persons who try it out and then send it back, that's just something that is uh, very difficult for many companies and uh, online. So that's why I made this review. I hope you uh, got something out of it. Um, yeah, I'm going to uh, close this up now. Don't know when I'm going to publish this. I doubt it's going to be still in January, but I'm going to try my best. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions for me, send me a message or leave me a comment. Um, also, if you have made different experiences with the merchandise I just um, you know, showed you. And uh, well, I'm just going to say uh, keep calm and bony on, right? So, um, that's about it. Uh, have a good time. Bye.